Good day children. Today in this video we will see letter writing skills. Children you know how to write a letter, how to start a letter with a date, to address, from address and uh, whether it is a formal letter you will write as it is and informal it has a different kind. Now we will see how to write it. So how to start with formal letter. First you will write name, respected sir or respected madam or you can even use dear sir or dear madam. Use only when writing to a position without having a named contact. Next, dear Mary, dear John, use when writing to a named male or female colleague. Yes, but it is a formal letter even though if you use dear it is a formal letter. Next informal letter, hi, hello, my dear auntie, my dear uncle, my dear friend, respected sir, comma, respected madam, comma. Remember children, after writing this, after greeting them, you have to put a comma there. Dear sir, comma. It may be a formal or informal letter, but still you have to put a comma there. Yes, after uh, writing this. Dear sir, comma. Dear madam, comma. For dear sir or dear madam, you will only use when writing to a position without having a named contact. Dear Mary, comma. Dear John, comma. Use when writing to named male or female colleague. Yes, but still it is a professional letter. Yes, an informal letter you can use anything. You can even call them by their nickname. Yes, but uh, for example, hi, comma. Hello Mary, comma. You have to put comma after this, after greeting them. My dear auntie, comma. Uncle, comma. My dear friend, Kama. Previous contact. Previous contact is like the previous mail or previous letter. Yes? How will you start? You have to start with your previous letter first. First you have to re uh, respond to their previous letter if they have sent. Like for example, thank you for your letter of. Further to your last letter. I apologize for not getting in contact with you before now. So if you are not, if you have not uh, uh, in contact with them, or if you are replying late in your letter, then you have to first write this. I apologize for not getting in contact with you before. Yes. So this is the model for formal letter. Now for informal letter, you will say like, "Thanks for your letter." Sorry, I haven't written for ages but I have been really busy. So, uh, can you differentiate this uh, children? In formal letter, I have said the same thing but very formally. Yes? And it's like, I didn't use any short forms. Children, please make a note. You should not use short forms in your formal letter. Yes? But in informal letter, see, I have used haven't, I have, yes, sorry, like this. But in this, I have said the same thing but in a different way. I, I apologize for not getting in contact with you before. Next, reason for writing. Why are you writing this letter? I am writing to let you know that we are able to confirm that. We regret to inform you that if something happens bad, then you will just uh, write like this. Next, in an informal letter, just a note to say, good news, unfortunately. See, the same unfortunately is written here but in a different way. We regret to inform you that the company is going in loss or in this informal letter, unfortunately, our grandpa has passed away. 
yes so this is the difference between formal and informal letter so how will you end the letter saying how will you sign off yours sincerely yours obediently yours faithfully and your first name children note that your sincerely comma you should put a comma whether it is a formal letter or informal letter you have to put a comma there yes and then your name below or your signature next in informal letter yours comma best wishes comma kind regards comma with love comma then your first name or your signature yes so here are some rules that you should follow while writing informal letter and formal letter to start with informal letter you can use short forms like won't we will haven't and all but writing formal letter you must know that you shouldn't use short forms no short forms in formal letter again an informal letter uses the person's name only you can use the person's name but in formal letter use formal titles like sir madam yes in informal letter personal comments like i hope best wishes all the best etc can be used but in formal letter avoid personal comments if possible next informal idioms can be used in informal letter like i had be great but in formal letter formal idioms should be used we would be honored as you can see children i had be great or we would be honored is same yes it's similar but while writing formal letter formal idioms should be used yes you can use exclamation marks but in formal letter no exclamation marks should be used yes